Okay, so I thought I'd walk you through the Notebook LM program. This is through Google, and I got early access through it, uh, through Google Labs. I'll try to show you how to do that here as I wrap this up. But basically, I'm in. This whole thing works right now just in Google Docs, okay? So if you're a Google Docs user, you should try to get on a wait list, get access to it. This is literally the first time I'm walking through this. So you're going to discover might be a little bit clunky. I apologize. But let's go ahead and create a new notebook. I'm just going to say Brainiac's test. All right. So basically what this does is this allows me to interrogate, interact, whatever you want to think of any of my Google Docs in a way that it's part of an LLM. Right. So you can see right here helps you learn faster, supercharge your creativity, bring your ideas to life using personalized AI. So I can just upload a few documents from my Google Drive. Sorry, I said Google Docs um, and summarize anything, answer questions, brainstorm ideas. So I'm going to load up basically it's about a 40 page workbook for my client value program that I teach to client value teams and lawyers using business model design and all that. I'm going to pull that up and see if I can play with this and, and see if we can stress test the stress test this together. Sorry, it's a Friday afternoon. OK, so I basically just went over here and clicked on new source. It pulls up my Google Drive and now it is uploading that. It's about 40 pages. Um, I wouldn't say heavy text, but I would consider probably 35 pages of text. It is a workbook after all. So now it's loading it up. I have no idea how long it's going to take. I'll put you on pause while it does that. While this is loading, I just want to note this over here, basically saying that it's uh, still can tell you inaccurate things. So even on your own documents, make sure that you're confirming facts uh, independently. All right. So something happened. It errored out. Let me try again. It did not upload that source. So much for experimental, right? OK, so it didn't tell me why it couldn't load the source, the original source, the client value program. I'm assuming it was too large. I loaded up another document that's just a collection of notes. It's much shorter and it loaded up without an issue. So I don't know the length parameters there, but it, it didn't. It, that was about a 40 page document. So anyway, what you see here is just a bunch of notes. Um, I was uh, teaching a class in law school, as I do, on how partners are made and get paid, really sort of pulling back uh, the, uh, the curtain on exactly how that process happens in a very pragmatic way. So um, these are some random notes. I've taught this many times, but say, I don't know, say I wanted to create an email course, right? I create lots of free email courses. Let's see if it'll let me do that here. So... Um, how might I create an email course for lawyers and business professionals? Sorry for reading this as I type. Inside law firms. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how specific I need to be, so let's see. I just kind of asked a random question. I don't know if it's going to just ask that or if it's going to know that I'm referring to this. The source is not keen. OK. OK, interesting. So it <laughs> let me let me be more specific with it. This is the thing about learning how to prompt is everyone says, oh, do we have to learn? Yes, each tool, each model has its own idiosyncrasies with how to prompt it. So stay tuned. OK, a little nerve wracking, not nerve wracking, irritating. So I basically ask it specifically about this. How could I make an email course off this source does not contain enough information. I said, OK, what can you tell me about this source? It says it doesn't contain enough information to be helpful. The sources are about how partners are made and get paid. It does not contain any information about how to create a small email course. Got that. Then I said, can you summarize it? And it said, well, it doesn't contain any information about how to summarize text. <laughs> OK, so I noticed this magic box down here and I was like, OK, well, what does this do? So this gives me the summary and key topics and then questions to try. So let me just say, what is the process? Let's see what it returns. So my guess is this is not going out and getting new information. This is only 
Well, let me let me verify this. Let me put on pause. Hang on. OK, it looks like this response is not necessarily generated off mine. It added language that is typical LLM language, like super happy. Like if you have the necessary skills and qualifications, it's a rewarding and challenging career path. Yes, being a partner absolutely is all those things, but it's not really the angle I was taking here. So I'm going to try to ring something out of this. Bear with me. OK, trial and error. I broke it a couple of times, but something happened. I got it on track. I've got some observations. Uh, I'm going to try to wrap this up. So one, um, I clicked out of this for a minute. It gave me links. It gave me some resources. I clicked those links. They were bogus links, took me to non-valid URLs. I hit the back button. My entire chat history was gone. I can't figure out how to get back to it. Maybe someone else out there does. Again, this is my first walkthrough. But I did get it to start to play ball. OK, so uh, again, using the same document, I, I tried to prime it. So going back to how I teach about prompting, I primed it with just giving it some easy hits. OK, so just get it on first base and start thinking. I said, what's the process of becoming a partner at a law firm? Drawing on this document as well as what it might know. OK, it gave me that. So I said, how might I teach this to law students? OK. So it started to break this down a little bit more, a little bit more. I said, OK, can you prepare a detailed syllabus with a class outline complete with topics and resources? Yes, it did. Pretty good. Not too detailed resource. If I click on these, I don't know if it's going to take me to the main URL page or what. I'm going to try that in a second. I said then I want to offer this as one credit hour class. I need to pitch this to a law school dean. Can you write this? And it did. So, OK. It is experimental, so note that obviously I ran into some issues here. Um, I think this is valuable. You're going to have to play with it, but if you use Google Docs or Google Drive, loading up some of your documents in here, whether it's research or ideas, and then pulling them together and playing with them and interacting this way could be really useful. Just, just be prepared. There's some bumps on the road. Now, for the finale, let me click on one of these and let's see where it takes me. OK, it actually took me to a, a valid URL. Now, if I go back, you're going to see that my chat history is now gone, although my my document's still here. Um, yeah, that takes me to a discord server. Not helpful. I have no idea what this is. Forms for feedback. OK, and this is just this. OK, so anyway, interesting product, a little bumpy, but you should play with it. So this is Google Notebook. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you how to get on the wait list. So just go to labs.google. You're going to find this. Um, this is their music one that I've shown you guys previously. Down here is Notebook LM. OK, so you can join the wait list. And there's a, a number of other projects or products down here that you can join the wait list to. All right. Have fun.